Ladies and gentlemen, I want to begin this video today by asking a question. Because this video is a very serious video. <laughs> Why do you think almost all Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament mm -hmm. are trying to explain to you guys that what took place between Roto and Raila was not hardship? Why are they inserting the word hardship in all their explanations? The answer to that is simple. Ruto and Rahila met. They had a handshake. The members of parliament were in the dark. In fact, Kimani Ishungwa is going further to explain that no handshake took place and that Ruto and Rahila have not even spoken. I can confirm. The president has not even met with Raila Odinga. He has not even spoken to Raila Odinga. Leave alone meeting. Leave alone a handshake. Therefore, there is nothing touching on a handshake. The bipartisan approach is an approach that looks at the interest of the country over and above the partisan interest. Uh, because I may have my own interest uh, from the Kenya Kwanzaa side or the Kenya Kwanzaa interest. Azimio may have their own interests that may not necessarily, the partisan interests may not necessarily be the interest of the Kenyan people. And therefore, we are looking at a bipartisan approach that will carry the interest of the nation above partisan interests. And that's basically the definition of the bipartisan approach, other than the partisan approach that could uh, be leaning towards one side or the other side. And it has absolutely nothing to do with a handshake. I see there are some quarters who are very excited that there is a handshake. I can confirm to you there is no handshake. Again, the answer to that question lies on the events which took place on Sunday. On Sunday, for the first time in uh, William Ruto's history, he never featured in any church service. I think that was the second Sunday because the other one, you remember when he went to, I think was it Dubai, when he sneaked out of the country using a <laughs> presidential jet. And again, last Sunday, he was not in any church function. He had purpose to attend one of the church, churches, but he cancelled it. Raila Morodinga was also nowhere. He was supposed to join his colleagues in Ruai. What happened? Raila Odinga was not seen. The whole day, then William Ruto emerged with some statement. Raila Odinga also later emerged with some statement. And if you want to know that these guys met, uh, met secretly, the reaction from Kenya Kwanzaa leaders is almost mirroring the reaction from Azimio leaders. When Raila Odinga was reading the statement uh, accompanied by Azimio leaders, you could tell from their faces that they were actually wondering. But Dennis Itumbi made a post because my role on this channel is to explain to you or to show you what you guys are not able to see. Dennis Itumbi made some post and that post actually reveals this particular meeting. Let me take you to what uh, Itumbi posted. Huh? Just a few. Let me just explain to you. Let me just show you, sorry, what Itumbi posted. This is what Dennis Itumbi posted the day before yesterday. That for those in doubt, number one, no handshake. Our position is that we will never put this country in the position this country was put through by the handshake. So the question is, what is handshake? If I greet you today, that's handshake. Uru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga had symbolic handshake. You know, it was a bitterly contested election. Then they said, okay, to cool things down, let us go and have handshake. Ruto and Raila are saying, we don't want to make this thing public. Let us go in a private place. Have handshake, talk, have tea. Go away. What's the difference? But... Uru's handshake with Raila ended at that point. For Ruto, Dennis Itumbi is saying number two, Tinga will accept the official opposition role. So basically, 
this is what is being give, being offered to Raila Odinga that we are going to make you the leader of opposition with an office with government protection with the staffs with the, you know things like those and then is it to be explaining number 3 which is very very important that Rigiji was in the room all afternoon and he in fact participated in the decision and in writing the final statement together with seven others i will not mention so probably rigiji was in attendance but in some other room <laughs> yeah because if rigiji is number 2 why is it be trying to exp what is it be trying to explain here in the all afternoon and that he, he participated in fact the People's Daily, I think, is it People's Daily, is giving more clear information that the only individual who knew about this meeting and the phone calls and the talks between Ruto and Raila were actually two people. Kipchumba Murkomen, the Elgeo Marakwet Senator, and Aaron Chariot. Why do you think they two? Because the two are close associates of Ruto. <laughs> and uh, Itumbi is telling Karen Kiki, here is the clarification as you requested. Have a great week ahead. So these gentlemen actually met. But the question is, why do you think Kenya Kwanzaa are so preoccupied with the idea of the handshake? Before I explain those, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is and uh, I want to I want to ask you to give this particular video thumbs up and by the way allow me to also take this opportunity to thank those who normally send me coffee I've, uh, I received one yesterday from um, Franklin and as usual you can also send me coffee just 200 500 on the number you are seeing on your screen there I'll really appreciate because it goes a long way in helping me produce the videos on this channel now let us get back to the main issue why do you think kenya kwanza is ashamed of the word handshake why do you think they don't want to accept in reality that whatever took place is actually handshake i, I remember yesterday kenyans were actually mocking or joking that what happened is actually handshake. It's only that Ruto decided this time around not to use the word handshake. Because using the word handshake was going to annoy Rigadi Gashagwa. So he chose by partisan. And Kenyans with their funny characters listed the, the corporation, the, the Nusumukate, or the Grand Coalition, the handshake, and now by partisan. But why do you think Kenya Kwanza are trying so hard to explain that no handshake took place. For me, number one, if you ask me, is the fact that there's the shame of handshake. You know, for the last five years, Kenya Kwanza told their supporters that the main reason why Jubilee government failed was because of the handshake between Raila and Uhuru. They went further and convinced their supporters that Raila was actually part of the government and that Ruto was in opposition. Tell me what they will be telling their supporters over the weekend if it turned out that it was a handshake. You know, you've spent five years demonizing handshake. Now it has happened. In fact, according to the information which is available, Ruto and Raila met somewhere in Narok. My sources are telling me that these guys didn't just meet in Narok. They met at the retirement home of Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta has some 1,000 acre retirement home called Lifestyle Ranch in Narok overlooking Narok Triangle. So that's a very safe place. You can just fly, land there. People will assume that's Urundi Amingia. Again, Raila 
as usual, the neighbors will think. And because the land is vast, nobody will really know whatever is taking place inside there. So people, some people are suggesting that the meeting actually took place at Uru Kenyatta's home. Remember, at some point, uh, Eden Duali suggested that uh, Uru was sending emissaries. I, 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 it could also be opposite. But for me, it is the shame of the handshake. Number two, managing the expectations of their supporters. That is what they are trying to do. And what is the expectation of their supporters? You spent the last five years telling your supporters that Uru Kenyatta is bad, Waila is bad. They voted for you and you told them there was not going to be any handshake with the Lodika. <laughs> and the Kikuyus are there because again, if you look at even the reaction, the people who are mad with this arrangement are actually Kenya Kwanzaa supporters from the Laja Kikuyu nation. And that's why people like Kimani Chungwa are trying so hard to explain to their supporters that indeed there was no handshake. And I was wondering, how sure is Ichunga, Ichungwa that uh, <laughs> no handshake took place while he himself is already initiating parliamentary initiative? And he, he, he was explaining to Kenyans that he's already spoken to his minority counterpart, Opio and I. <laughs> So for me, these guys are just trying to explain or to manage the expectation of their supporters. And number three is a possible fallout in Kenya Kwanzaa. You see, sometimes these deals has to be kept secret. And I don't even want to rule out the possibility that Rigadi Gashagwa was actually locked out. But he was called later. And that's why he came with that tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> he was enjoying his weekend and he was told come to state house and he started waiting for Ruto just the way Tumbi is explaining from noon <laughs> the old Duni was there he was being briefed okay this is what we have agreed can you read the document can you prepare the document let me see approve you know so for me the fear is that if they say it was a handshake some people are going to rebel. If you say Rigadi Gashago was not involved, then a rebellion is going to be occasioned. And that is something which they don't want. Remember how the handshake caused a rebellion in, uh, <laughs> in Jubilee. So they just want to try as much as possible to avert any possible fallout. And lastly, I also tend to think that these guys are just trying so hard to swallow their own words. You know, you spend five years, you become the most vocal against Raila, working with Roto. Then you see them now, you just, unasoma kwa TV, that the two actually talked. <laughs> you know, politics can be that dirty, politics can be that interesting. And for me, that is what is called politics 001. Let people learn the hard way. And by the way, again, allow me to ask you to also, for those who are interested in uh, trading online, check out startup.pro where you can uh, always trade online. It's credible. So just go ahead and try your luck. You know, the, 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 what you need to know about forex trading, you are sub, these guys are supposed to monitor the dollar, the euro, how it's, it's fluctuating. So when it dips, definitely you lose. <laughs> but not much. Then if you are not patient, then you'll be in a hurry. But if you are patient, then you can wait again. Say me, pesa wacha, nita wacha apa. Yeah, things like those. So I've been assured by the people who place this ad that it's a credible thing. So try out your, your luck. Thank you and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.